Okay, this chest x-ray is in front of us again and we'll use this x-ray in next two to three videos to discuss a few things only because it is such a wonderful x-ray as it offers so much to learn and yet to a number of inexperienced professionals and students it might just look absolutely normal and I should say deceptively normal. In last video we discussed a number of radiological features that proved that this is not a normal chest x-ray. We concluded that this is a moderate pulmonary edema. We at the moment have another x-ray of the same patient that was taken one week after the treatment which gives us an opportunity to check to see if some or all of our findings that we discussed in last video were right. There were only three radiological features that we discussed in last video that made us believe that this patient has moderate pulmonary edema. The first sign of pulmonary venous congestion which is frequently seen even before any other feature is visible is the redistribution of pulmonary venous flow to upper zone. The upper zone vessels look bigger than the lower zone vessels. If you compare this x-ray with this x-ray that was taken one week later you can see the vessels here are much smaller than the vessels here and as a general rule if the vessels visible through the first anterior intercostal space if they are 3 millimeter or bigger than 3 millimeter in diameter it is believed that patient has pulmonary venous congestion so this is the first first rib this is first thoracic vertebra first rib is attached to it and this is the posterior part of the rib and this is the anterior first anterior rib similarly this is the second posterior rib and this is the second anterior rib and this is the first intercostal space anterior intercostal space if the vessels visible through this space they are 3 millimeter in diameter or bigger than 3 millimeter, uh, millimeter in diameter it is believed that patient has pulmonary venous congestion and you can clearly see the vessels are smaller on the x-ray on your right hand side the second feature that we discussed in our last video was loss of clarity of the large vessels visible near the hyla so for example if you compare this x-ray with the x-ray that was taken one week later after the treatment the x-ray on your right hand side you can take a pencil and you can easily draw outline of all the major vessels that are visible on the x-ray versus the x-ray on your left hand side the vessels have become hazy it's known as perihilar haze you cannot draw outline of the major vessels this is because a number of lymphatics converge towards the hyla and the lymphatics are trying to absorb the excess fluid that is leaked into the pulmonary interstitium from the pulmonary veins and they become bigger in size and make it difficult to clearly visualize the outline of the major blood vessels so this is the x-ray after one week and this is the x-ray at the time of the pulmonary congestion and you can clearly see the vessels are very clearly visible here you can change window level settings to improve the visualization of the vessels versus on this x-ray no matter what you do you cannot see the outline of the vessels the third feature that we discussed in last video was the the visibility of interlobular septae thickened interlobular septae that uh, the the term that is used for these thickened septae is curly B lines these are horizontal lines that start from pleura and then they uh, move towards the hilum they are maximum 2 cm in length and 2 mm in diameter and they are very clearly visible here the they're, norm, they're usually visible in the claustrophenic angle you can see the haziness here as well versus if you look at the x-ray on your right hand side there are no 
curly B lines. The X-ray is well aerated. You cannot see any curly B line on the lateral wall of the chest, including costophrenic angle, which is the first side that shows the curly B lines. Versus on this X-ray on the left hand side, several curly B lines are clearly visible. These are the curly B lines here. Now before we go, we can just uh, summarize. So in acute stages, there were three signs that we discussed. First was the uh, redistribution of uh, pulmonary venous blood flow to the upper zones. Second was the perihilar haze, which makes it impossible for us to see the outline of the blood vessels. And the uh, third was the presence of curly B lines, which are inter uh, lobular septal lines and these all features are visible on the x-ray on your left hand side versus the x-ray on your right hand side the edema is cleared 